Exam 7410, Installing and Configuring Windows Server 2012, is the starting point on the path toward two Microsoft certifications, the MCSA and the MCSE in Windows Server 2012. The exam is designed to test your ability to perform six general tasks. Install and configure servers, configure server roles and features, configure Hyper-V, deploy and configure core network services, install and administer Active Directory, and create and manage group policy. Throughout this course, we're going to focus on the concepts you need to understand, as well as the particular details you need to remember to be successful on the exam. Today, server administration is often performed remotely, away from the servers you are managing. In this section, we're going to take a look at the two technologies used for remote server management in Windows Server 2012. We'll cover which type of remote management is enabled by default in Windows Server 2012, and the steps you need to take to enable remote management of older servers. We'll look at the tasks you'll be able to perform out of the box and which kinds of tasks require you to open firewall ports. Windows Server 2012 can run in the cloud, but if you'll be deploying the OS on a physical server, you'll have to configure its hardware too. Some features in Windows Server 2012 let you manage aspects of that hardware in a way that adds flexibility, resilience, and fault tolerance. These features include NIC teaming, the GPT partition style, dynamic disks, the new ReFS format type, and storage spaces. So let's take a look at them now. 